Hello and welcome back to the Body Mats YouTube channel. I am Hulua Shei Sadako and I'm glad to have you back. If you're new on my channel and you like videos on HTV, embroidery, sublimation and sewing, please subscribe because I do weekly video tutorials on this channel. And if you're not, thank you for always coming back to my channel to watch my videos. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you so much. In today's tutorial, we're going to be sublimating the popular spiral betty. If you're, if you're current, you will know there is a trend going on that is called the spiral betty. I have made two videos on the spiral betty. I have made one with HTV, which is a circular one when it first came out. Then I did an updated one to show you how to make other shapes of the spiral betty. If you've not watched any of these videos, please watch them and please give them a thumbs up so that more people can see them. In today's tutorial, we're going to be sublimating the circular spiral betty, but we're going to be sublimating it on a mouse pad. Today, it's not going to be HTV, it's going to be sublimation on a mouse pad. I'm going to be using one of the, one of the pictures my daughters drew, and I'm going to be making a spiral betty of it, and then we'll sublimate it onto this, um, we sublimate it onto this mouse pad this mouse pad i got from mdp supplies in case you want to get yours let's get straight into the tutorial after the intro <laughs> For this project, we would like to go to spiralbetty.com. When we get to spiralbetty, it's going to ask us to upload our image. We want to upload the image we want into spiralbetty for it to spiralize the image. I'm using this image that was drawn by my daughter because I'm making her a mouse pad. So she wants this drawing on her mouse pad. Then if I'm happy with the placement of the image, I'll press OK to spiralize the image. And this is the spiraled image. We you can spell, scale the ring to make it more or less. I don't mind making it more as I'm not going to be weeding this image. I'm going to be sublimating it. So if, it's, if, if I'm going to be weeding it, this is going to be really difficult to weed or cut for my machine. But since I'm sublimating it, it's OK. I can bring it all the way down. And with the scale, I have scaled it to the size I want already. So I'm going to go to lighting and see. But before then, I would like to choose another color of this spiral betty. I love this one with the blue at the bottom. It's Blue is my daughter's color, so I think she would like this. So I want to see with the lighting to see if I reduce the lighting. Yeah, I think the lighting is better a bit reduced. And for the contrast... I think I'm going to bring it down as well, so the image can pop out more. No, I think I need to bring it up. Yeah, bringing it up is better. Than, uh, what do you think? Do you think I should have left it where it was? Yeah, I think it's okay this way. And now I am happy with my image. I want to download the image. I am using this for personal use, but if I am going to sell this, I would go for the commercial license because you have to pay to use it commercially. But I'm not selling this. I'm only using it for my daughter. So I'll be okay using it like this. I'll just download. And if you want, you can please buy Betty a coffee. It means we're supporting the free website. Let's support it so it remains free for us. Now I'm going to download the image. The image is there. Then I'll go to my favorite and popular software which is the silhouette studio i'm going to be printing it from silhouette studio so i open my silhouette studio and bring the spiralized image into my silhouette studio so now i'm bringing the image which i just downloaded I just downloaded and bringing it into Silhouette Studio. It's going to come in as a very large file, but we can scale it down so we'll be able to work with it. This mouse pad that I'm working with is a seven and a half by nine inches my mouse pad, but I just want this to be in the center of it. I, I want it to be 
large enough for me to be able to see it and not too small as well or not too big so i'll be making this a six and a half image so i lock the aspect ratio this way and if i if you don't lock the aspect ratio then if you change one of the ratios the other might not come in proportionate to the one you changed but because this is a circle i would just change one and it should change the other for me so I'll go to 6.5, which I want, 6.5, and it automatically scale down both of it. So now I want to print this image in order for us to be able to sublimate it. So I go to my print, and then I go to my preferences. I have a sublimation already there that gives it the epsin matte and its eye quality and the color and everything it's already set there so and it would flip it horizontally remember to always flip your sublimation horizontally so that is set for me already and i'll go i'll say okay to print the image now after printing the image all we need to do is go to the to the heat press and sublimate it onto our mouse pad so now that we have our image ready we want to prepare our image to put on the on our substrate which is our mouse pad to prepare the mouse pad we want to lint roll the mouse pad in order to take away any dirt that we cannot see with our eyes that will be on the mouse pad it is a very very good practice to do this to everything you sublimate try and do this to everything you sublimate to give it a clean slate to sublimate on so now i'll cut the i'll cut the image i'll cut it around because sometimes we have eating ink around it so i decide to cut it around it doesn't have to be a perfect cut just to cut it round to be sure we wouldn't have any ink lying around ready to be transferred onto our substrate now all we want to do is look for the center of this and place it facing down we want to place place it facing down then we take see we want to place it facing down we want to be sure we're placing it the right way like that sometimes i like to look for the middle of my of my image by just turning it the other way and looking for the center of the image that would help us to be sure that this is in the middle or just the middle of the spiral even you can just do just a little pinch don't pinch it too much just a little so that we get the middle of our of our image and now we can place it on our mouse pad and hold it down with heat resistant tape make sure it's a heat resistant tape not just any tape because it would burn if we use any tape and leave marks on it and even it might destroy our project anyway so we want to use the heat resistant tape and when we've put enough tape we take it to our heat press uh, our mouse pad is now on the heat press and ready to be sublimated on i would want to put a butcher paper on it in order to protect my heat press mm -hmm. and i'm going to be sublimating it at 380 for 45 seconds 380 degree fahrenheit for 45 seconds so now it's ready and for 45 seconds if you like to see more projects like this would you please like share and subscribe to my channel and it's my wish to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday on the 30th of May. Please give me a birthday gift by subscribing to my channel. And that's it.
we want to open a Don't be scared when you see it smoking. That's normal. And from just looking at it this way, we can see that the image has shown true, which means it's well sublimated. So I'll leave it a bit for it to get cold. Then I can take the image off. Wow, this is really, really nice. This is really nice. You see that? It's really really nice that is well sublimated and even the spirals has come out more wow there now we have our mouse pad all sublimated and i think it looks good what do you think if you think it doesn't, you do, wouldn't like it, you would like just the image on its own, leave a comment and let's hear from you. The spiral betty is a trend and we don't know how long the spiral betty is going to last. But for now, I love the spiral betty. If there's any other um, topic you want me to treat to make a video on, please leave a comment and I'll make a video to address that topic. I'll be glad to do that. Thank you so very much for staying to the end of this tutorial and I'll see you the next time. Thank you.